Good, happy Tuesday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, State Police K-9 locates wanted suspect in Tilton. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Right now, we're celebrating 100 years of automotive innovation. With big summer savings at Lovering Mitsubishi. Lease the 2017 Seven Passenger Outlander, a 2017 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus for only $229 per month. Or the fuel efficient 2017 Outlander Sport with up to 30 highway miles per gallon for only $179 per month. Or purchase any new or used vehicle from Lovering Mitsubishi and your state inspections are on us for life. Lovering Mitsubishi. Cars you love from people you trust. Well, a canine is being credited with locating a suspect in Tilton. State police were called to the Taco Bell on Route 3 to search for a wanted man. Police say he is known to carry dangerous weapons and was wanted on arrest warrants. Canine Vita tracked him through the woods and found him hiding behind a tree. He was taken into custody. Okay, and there you go on that report. Snake on a train. Reptile spotted on red line. Let's take a listen to this video from WCVB Boston. It's great. We invited top stylists to try our hair care products. I'm dying to know what this is. It's so soft. It feels a ETA writer's tweet says it all. That's a snake. Oh. And it is a snake. Look look above the red arrow on the pole. That is a snake. Someone is holding it on a packed red line train this afternoon. And if you think snakes are banned from the tea, well, guess what? You're in for a surprise. I guess I am. I guess we all are. New set defies Jorge Quiroga is live in Braintree to explain. Jorge. Hey, Maria, this one actually caught me a little by surprise. Tonight, the MBTA says, yes, you can take your snake for a train ride as long as it can't slither away. On the red line Monday afternoon, Braintree bound. One slippery commuter caught Ann Keen's attention. She posted this short video to Twitter. There was kind of a crowd near, um, near, near the guy, and sure, he had a snake in his hand wrapped around his arm. Not huge, but big enough to give some riders the heebie-jeebies. Personally, me, I'm scared of snakes. We showed several the video. Well, I think I wouldn't want to be riding next to that person without the snake being in a cage. <laughs> And since that these animal rules don't specifically mention snakes, we asked if it was okay. The agency spokesperson writing back, the general policy also doesn't mention polar bears. In this case, such pets should be transported in a secured carrier at all times. And Keen couldn't get her eyes off it. Would he drop it? You know, would it get loose? I mean, it's just like one of those things that obviously you think about. Do you remember the time where one got lost on a train? In 2011, a three-foot boa named Penelope made news when she disappeared while riding the red line with her owner, the stealthy boa hiding in the train's nooks and crannies for weeks. People bring all their pets on the train. Dogs, cats, birds, you name it. I mean, a snake. As long as it's not poisonous, I'm fine with it. So basically, if you're into snakes, the T says, use common sense, kind of like a dog on a leash. You have to keep your snake in a secure carrier. Live in Braintree, Jorge Quiroga, WCBB, just in a five. Okay, and there you go on that report. So if you want to bring a snake, you can bring it on the train. Proposal to cap rent rates in Portland won't appear on November ballot. Let's take a listen to this video from WMTW News 8 in Maine. At a stadium or in a parking lot, you may have heard some great stories or seen some fun robot selfies. That's because Nightscope's autonomous 
Well, Steve, right now, city officials say they are apologizing for unintentionally giving the group misinformation. It seems Fair Rent Portland will not see their rent stabilization proposal on the ballot this November. City officials say there was a mistake in the deadline provided to them by the clerk's office for when they needed to get their signatures in. They hand delivered the petitions today. This would not allow enough time for the 10 day notice required for a public hearing and then the mandatory 90 days needed following the public hearing before the vote. We did reach out to the group but have not heard back. We spoke to them earlier about the proposal and to the head of Southern Maine Landlord Association about their different takes on rent control in the city. People like me are starting to feel the pinch with these rents going up, and people like me have to move out to another place. And we're the people that have been here, that have helped build the city, and just been part of it. And all of a sudden now it's like, sorry, you can't afford to live in the place where you grew up. Housing policy is extremely complicated, and this is a small group of activists trying to make housing policy for an entire city, and that just doesn't work. So what we're hearing tonight from the city's communications director is that city staff and council will look into what the next steps may be for this group. Live in Portland, Morgan Sturdivant, DLMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that report. If you live in the Portland area, let us know. What are your thoughts about this? Comment below and let us know. We want to hear from all of you from the Portland area. A group of elite exes is trying to strengthen the bond between the world's two largest democracies. America CEOs have been quick to support strong U.S. indie relationship as many see the rising economy as a source of further growth especially as China slows down. How Trump could sink Obamacare. President Donald Trump has been ramping up his threats to derail the Affordable Care Act over the last week after Republicans on Capitol Hill put aside their immediate effort to repel and replace the law. Trump said in a tree, three Republicans and 48 Democrats let the American people down. As I said from the beginning, let Obamacare implob, then deal with watch. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday and I'll see you back here later on today. Goodbye everyone.